Goresh is one of the new heroes presented in Call of Dragons with the Skogo in the Season 2 Plus. In same time, Madeline is presented in the Season 1, I think at the end of the Season 1, maybe one or two weeks. But both of these two heroes are infantry. Both of these two heroes have the tank talent tree. In my opinion, personal opinion, this is the best uh, talent tree for the infantry. So who is going to win this fight? I do this video just for the people who struggle to choose between Goresh and Madeline because they are very very close. We're going to go over this. But yeah, if you're choosing between Madeline or Goresh, who is going to be your commander for next seasons and in general your infantry, this is the video for you. In general, both of these two heroes are very similar. What I mean by that is, for example, Madeline is going to provide you with attack boost and shield. Goresh is going to provide you with damage taken reduction. That can go to 15%. I think with Awakening is going to go with 20%. So even though the Madeline have a shield on one side, the Goresh have this damage reduction for uh, 5 seconds or maybe 6 seconds. Six second. That is going to compensate the damage uh, same as the shield. Also, the Madeline are doing damage to three targets. I think 130, if I remember correctly, this spell here. Uh, close 300 is going to be attacked to three surrounding legions. On same time, Gorish have this spell that is a counter attack, have a 50% chance to deal additional damage to five surrounding legions. Of course, the damage factor is going to be 200, is 100 less. But this is five surrounding legions. I mean, there is a lot of similarity between these two heroes. So for some people, maybe actually hard to choose which hero to go for. So let's begin. I'm going to give a point for something that one hero overwhelmed the second hero. We're going to start with the skills just because they both have same talent tree. The Goresh have the Rally Tower Tree. I think the Madeline was having the PvP. Yeah, PvP Tower Tree. So from first spell, I definitely think Goresh is going to get the point here. What I mean by that, the physical attack bonus is more from the Madeline. The Madeline attack bonus is 20%. And the Goresh attack bonus is 50% physical attack bonus. So, and also the damage reduction, 15%, that can go to 200 uh, to 20% reduction of the damage. Now, the shield by one attack or maybe two attacks, you're going to take out the shield. But imagine if uh, 10 legions is going is hitting you. This, the, um, this damage taken reduction is going to apply to all these 10 legions. So, go this makes Gorish perfect for line penetration. For the alliance war on the same time madeline just have one shield that can be easily broken but gorish is going to reduce the damage from 10 legions for six six seconds for with 15 percent or 20 percent if you're awake so definitely here the point is going for gorish now the next thing is um uh, this uh, stronghold for the Gorish on the same time on the Madeline side we have this spell that is going to increase the capacity by 15,000 increase physical damage deals now here the point is going to go for the Madeline now this is specific for the stronghold when beside the stronghold but I think there is a better hero from the stronghold and this is Theodore so definitely Theodore is going to take this place and this is going to be useless skill in the battlefield for your infantry uh, your infantry legions on same time Madeline is going to give you 15,000 and there is one other point I want to mention here and this is the policy if you check the policy right now extract um, boosting the legion is by percentage so not only you're going to receive 15,000 more legion, you're going to also increase this 15,000 but this 5% or with uh, this uh, 20%. Is, here is percentage based. So definitely here the point is going to go for the Madeline. The next skill is going to be this one. Freezing Grace. 
uh, damage factor can go to 300, 3 surrounding legions. On the other side, uh, Goresh have the same spell and this is uh, once the counterattack they have 50% chance to deal additional damage to 5 surrounding legions. This effect can be triggered 2 times per second. Now imagine 10 legions to hit the Goresh. Definitely this skill is going to be activated. Here the Goresh is going to do more damage because it's hitting more legions. In total, Madeline is going to do 900 uh, damage. Uh, Goresh is going to do 1000 if there is a 5 surrounding legions. But there is something more important here. Goresh is not only do that, but each additional legion trigger reduced damage taken by 15%. This effect can be triggered 2 times per second. I mean, uh, this effect with damage reduction. This is huge, especially for multi fights where there is a lot of enemies. And by triggering this damage reduction, this increased survivability for the infantry. So Madeline on one side is doing even less damage and she brings nothing on the table. On the other side, Goresh is doing more damage with 100 if there is a 5 surrounding legions. Also providing you with this reduction of the damage taken. This is very, very important. From there, we're going to jump to the passives, infantry, counterattack, damage bonus, infantry, defense bonus. On the Madeline side, we still have counterattack damage, if I remember correctly. Infantry, HP bonus, counterattack damage bonus. It's basically the same. So, HP or defense, people are going to say different, but for me, both of, both of them are very important for the survivability of your Legion. Either the increasing of the HP or the defense, the counterattack damage. I think on the Gore side is little more, to be honest. Uh, yeah, it's 5% more, so maybe I will give the point to the Gore. So, at the end, from the skills before Awakening, first skill is going to be a Gore point. Um, this one again Goresh, this one again Goresh, this one is Madeline. So 3 points for the Goresh, 1 point for the Madeline. Let's see the Awakening. Awakening is increasing this uh, resistance by 5% and extra 10% physical damage. This is from the Goresh on the Madeline side. Was a uh, web blast shield broken. Madeline deals damage to 3 surrounding legion. Damage factor 300 and damage taken minus 10% for 4 seconds. I think here is going to be even. Or maybe I'll give point here to the Madlin. I'll give point here to the Madlin just because the damage taken reduction is better. Is 10%. And at the same time, it's doing some damage. On the other side, the Goresh is boosting the attack by 10% and uh, resist damage by 5%. But this attack for the infantry, uh, here we count more on the counterattack damage. Infantry have the lowest attack in the game. Maybe the donkeys have less attack for the infantry. So this physical boost is, is not so important. So Madeline is providing with better survivability. That's why the point is going to go for the Madeline. And total is going to be 3 points for Goresh and 2 points for Madeline. I think this is the best way to somehow compare some heroes that is close to be same. Uh, with the points, this is my personal opinion. This is how I compare a heroes that is close to be close to the same. It's rare case, but when it happened, it happened. So, so far, the Goresh is going to win the battle with the Madeline. But how you can combine Goresh? I mean, how to pair this hero? Madeline have a shield. You can combine her with the Garwood. And you're going to receive the, the shield from the Madeline and the healing from the Garwood. And this is... Madeline have the biggest shield in the game. And Garwood have pretty decent healing. So with who you have to combi combine Gorish to increase even more the survivability of your legions. Because let's be honest, he's going to be squishy if you don't pair this hero good. He's going to get destroyed on the battlefield if you don't pair this hero good. And this is going to surprise you, I promise. I think the best combination for the Gorish is going to be Eliano. Yeah, you hear me correct, Eliana. 
First of all, Ileana is providing you with the shield that is 500. Um, that is going to reduce the damage with the shield. Also, Ileana uh, have this spell. Ileana Legions takes 30% less normal attack damage. Absolutely huge. With damage taken reduction from the Gorish that stuck with the second spell. I mean, Gorish uh, get a lot of attack with the damage reduction. Ileana is going to reduce even more than less uh, normal attack damage. Also, when casting Rescue, Ileana Legion gets Shelter, increasing their defense by 30% for 5 seconds. And 5 seconds is a lot of time. This hero, Ileana, is maybe the hero that is providing with the best survivability in Cow of Dragons. So definitely, even if you have Madeline and you have Ileana, I, I, I'm not so sure how the shields there work, but for the Gorish, he's going to receive shield, all this normal attack damage reduction, all this defense boost, 30% is a what and infantry have the biggest defense in the game. And finally, 70% chance to receive healing when hit with normal attacks, healing factor 400. This is even... You get shield, you get healing, you get normal attack damage reduction, you get defense increase. With Ileana, I think the Gorish is going to be unstoppable. Unstoppable. This is going to be the new life for this hero. This hero is going to penetrate everything, even tank behemoths. Because in my opinion, this hero is also good for the behemoths. Even though that is providing with very decent physical attack bonus that is going to help you keep the aggro of the behemoths. Behemoths is not so easy to be controlled and keeping the aggro. If the behemoth jump on the ranges, ranges are start moving. When they move, they're not doing damage. You get the idea. Just the infantry should keep the behemoth in the center. And I think Gorish is providing also with the damage your tier 5 or tier 4 legion to keep the aggro of the behemoth very important of course everything you see here can be done from the madeline madeline can be combined with iliana also madeline can be combined also with the garwood madeline have big increase of the legions with this percentage i mean 25 percent on 15,000 is a lot of more units so this is huge tons of for the madeline but I think Gorish is going to reform one idea better from the Madeline in total. So this is my comparison. This is my personal opinion. From the first look, I was wrong. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking Madeline Garwood is going to be the heroes. But definitely I think Gorish is going to be the new infantry commander. Of course, many people have from the season 1 uh, Madeline Marks from the VIP shop and of course if you have Madeline 5551 five, five, <laughs> something like this definitely go for your Madeline if you have like me for for the first time to summon the Gorish since I have five five tokens I, I still need five more tokens to summon this bad boy but yeah so I guess this will be for this video guys I hope you enjoyed if you do hit one like subscribe to this channel because I'm making Cow of Dragons videos almost every day and see you in the next video.